Hello everyone, Lori from Art Lore. So here are the two paintings that I did. I was trying to do one and then try to successfully do another one where they would pair well. And the one on the left is the one that you'll see in the video. The one on the right, um, well, Dingbat Me did not check to see if it was in focus. I am an old dog and can't learn new tricks and um, had to delete the video. But at least you get to see the um, results of the two side by side. They do look quite pretty together. I feel like the one on the left is a little bit busier. Uh, the one on the right's got the negative space, but I I think they're I think they're great if you wanted to hang them together. I think they're quite pretty. Um, so yeah, so here they are. So I will be saying in the video um, that there's another video after the first one, but there's not. So, but here you go. Here are the end results. And I think they're quite pretty. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. See you soon. Bye. Hello, hello, everyone. How are we doing today? Glory from Art Lore. Okay, so today we're going to do another 15 by 30. And I picked some colors that are going to pair together really, really pretty. They're very different for me. Um, I'm continuing my soft series. And um, I did another, I'm, or I'm going to do another 15 by 30 because I want them to match. Um, and that's always hard to do, to duplicate uh, two large ones doing them separate. So that's, it's kind of a challenge for me. So I'm hoping that that works. And um, I will show the second one that I do after this video but um, I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going to pick it up um, like I've done in the past uh, where I start to spin. So I'll do that so that it doesn't make the video too long. And if that bugs you, just let me know. And then I'll stop doing that. So, um, but I'll definitely post at the very end of the video, both paintings side by side, no matter how they look, so that we can see um, either it works or it didn't. And so, yeah, so we're going to do that today. So uh, 15 by 30 gallery wrap from Michaels. And I've already got my pillow down, which is the PPG Multi Pro. And I do the interior eggshell and make sure it's the 473110 because the numbers are different. And I've actually bought, almost bought the incorrect number. So anyway, let's get down to the canvas. We're going to make a mess. I'll show you my colors and we'll get to blooming. So here we go. Bring you down. That's not very good. Okay, that's better. Let's just see if you're in frame there. Um, yep, that looks pretty good. And that looks pretty good there. Okay, first up, we have um, this I started out with a really light gray. I did um, white with just a scant of black and I made a light gray. And then I put in um, golden quinacridone magenta. And I did that, those two together to get this to be kind of a dusty rose tone. And um, I think that's pretty yummy. My, I, I just love that color. Uh, this one here is just Amsterdam mauve. And um, that's really pretty. Oops, we've got something. There we go. And that is really soft. And I added black. I added black to this. And I'm telling you, when I say I added a little bit of black, I mean, like, Maybe not even that much black because black really takes over. And we all know what this is. TLP, Harvest Gold, so yummy. And I like these little containers because when you mix your colors um, and you don't want to, uh, you don't have time to put them away in a lidded, I just put a baggie over the top of it and they don't, um, 
the paper cups don't last very long, so these plastic ones are better. But that one will actually go in a little lidded tub. This one here is primary yellow. And then instead of doing the phthalo cyanine blue, this time I did the ultramarine blue. And I did the Arteza ultramarine blue. And I did the Liquitex primary yellow. And um, it was mostly yellow with just tiny bits of the blue to get this green. And it's very pretty. So let's see. I think what I want to do is I'm just going to do three blooms, one, two, and three, and we're going to start out, and I want to make sure, ha, 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 you are not in focus. I am so proud of myself. I remembered, oh my gosh, I actually should probably put the note like on the end of my nose so I remember. Oh, I've thrown away six videos because um, I don't remember to tap my camera to make sure that it's in focus, but I did this time. Okay, so we're going to start with the green right in the middle. And then I'm going to do this really pretty, you know, I think I'm going to do the rose. We'll do the rose first. I just love those two together, that green and that rose. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, now I'm going to do the gold. And I really want to see the gold. So I'm actually not going to drizzle this time. I'm going to put that right in there. And now I'm going to add the really light dusty rose or dusty pink, whatever you want to call it. And then, because I want to see um, some of this dusty rose in the, uh, in the cells, I'm just gonna drizzle a little tiny bit of that in there. Cell activator, made it up fresh yesterday. The Australian Floetrol. And, and I, I do the Amsterdam Oxide Black, and I didn't do three to one, and I didn't do four to one. I want to say it was like three Three and a half to one. So um, oh, we've got some bubble action going on here. I'm sure it doesn't really matter when you blow it out, but I just want to do it anyway. Okay, so we're going to pour a little bit of this on there. And I think I want to just do just a little more. There. Okay. Medium high fan, cool air. Okay, that's really pretty. However, I'm not seeing a whole lot of my green. So I think I'm going to switch it up and do, um, I actually need to add a little tiny bit more paint right down here. So we're just gonna fill this little spot in here. And we'll just add a little bit there just for good measure. Okay. 
I think I'll do the pink first because it looks like the pink is really taking over, which is fine. We'll do one right about there. And I still will drizzle a little bit of that. Um, toward the end. I'm going to put my lighter pink here and we'll give that a try. I'd really like to see a little bit of that green in there. A little more than I'm than I'm noticing. I see it very faint. And I kind of wanted to see it even more so because it looks so pretty with the the deeper rose. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to drizzle. Let's drizzle. I'm going to add my gold. And then we'll drizzle that on. Okay. Well, it's selling up quite pretty and there's some gold inside those cells. Those look fun. There's a little bit of green in here, but you have to really find it. You have to really look for it. And I don't want that. I want to be able to see it. So we're going to give that a try. Hopefully this one will be better. Oh, okay, here we go. Noise. there a little bit but that's okay because it's going to come off I want everything to come off the sides to be a spinning deconstructed bloom so that will be just fine um, I'm still not seeing my green um, so now what I think I'll do is it's coming up in the cells though um, I'm still going to start out with the pink like I did before. And then I will add my green. Then my gold. Wow, that gold. Oh my gosh. So pretty. My dusty rose, my light dusty rose. Actually, this is not a dusty rose now that I think about it. I was thinking that I made it from this, but I didn't. That is mauve. Bubble City here. Okay. There we go. All right. 
Yeah, that's really pretty. Selling up great. Okay. Here we go, noise. So now, um, I'm not liking where the two hit, and there was a lot of pillow there, and I didn't want my blooms to be squished, so I didn't go in and hit that with the blow dryer. So what I'm going to do, though, is just make sure everything is intact here. Try to get rid of it that way. I don't mind a little bit of it, but I don't like a lot of it. There, that's okay. That's way better. Cells are popping up really pretty. You need to give this a little bit more time to come up. So let's pause for a moment. I'm going to fill my edges all up. Let these come up a little bit right there and right there. And then we'll be right back. All right, we are back. I just wanted to show you the cells. I mean, oh my goodness, those cells are so yummalicious. That's the fruit, the bottom bloom. Here's the center bloom. I'm leaving the black there because I, I want it there. Uh, don't care. I know a lot of times I pull some of that black out of there, but I'm leaving it. And there's my green, but it's on the edge and I'm losing it. Dang it all. But look at the green there. Isn't that pretty? So I did get my green. I got it in the center, but not through the um, bloom. But I think it will be okay. So there we are. Sorry, I went too fast. Isn't that pretty? So let's get to spinning. That's the best part. All right, here we go. Got you in focus. I just wanna make sure that you can see it this way also. 
Okay, here we go. So let's just take a peek at this and see what we have here. I think I want to just do one little one that way first. And see what we get. So I definitely want everything off the canvas as much as possible. Um, definitely want that off the canvas. This still needs to come. This is looking pretty good. Hope I don't lose it. Uh, let's do it again, but I think I'm going to bring it this way a little bit. And give it a gentle spin that way. Hmm. All right, we're going to go just a little bit harder this time. I have a lot of paint on there. And then I got to check this one little edge because it's not going over the edge, the white. So I need to add a little bit there. There's a little tiny bit of canvas showing right here. So let's just, let's do this. I'm gonna fill my corner here as long as I'm there. While this is nice and fluid. There, I'm going to just add that just like that. And then that helps to just Get it over. Let's check this side. Oh, this side is great. Um, might as well check all my corners as long as I'm at it. Oh, we're good. This one's not good. There we go. All right, now we're covered. Okay, for the most part, I'm loving it. Um, a lot of gold, very little green, um, but I love the wispiness of it. So I think I need to go one more time or two more times maybe. I'm going to check the center in a moment, but I definitely want this off. So let's do it again. It's coming. Slow but sure. I gotta stop looking at it because I'm very dizzy. Holy cow. All right. There are bubbles everywhere. Okay. So I like it a lot. In fact, I love it a lot. Um, I guess I don't mind this little bit of negative space because it kind of pairs with everything else going on. There's a little bit up there. Glad I blew the uh, petals closer together because it's not so sharp uh, with demarcation and it's softer up and through there. So I was glad I did that. Um, it's kind of cute that it's got the green outline there, but I wished it would have been inside. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a peek and then see what we have here and then I'll bring you down. If I have to spin some more, I will do that off camera. 
but with the measurements here, things are looking pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so we're going to leave it just like that. And I will take you down and show you the results. And there we have the first bloom with those very beautiful, yummy cells. There's the center bloom. There's my green, not a whole lot, but there's my green. Uh, those cells are really pretty. And then we were able to keep the top bloom. So there it is. All right, so stay tuned for the second um, canvas. Couldn't think of the word. The second canvas, 15 by 30, same colors. And we'll see what happens and see if I can do this or not. Hope you all have a good day. Stay tuned. Don't go away.